Hello and welcome to day 14 of 30 Days of Ads in April, where we bring you Facebook ads in bite sizes every single day for the entire month of April. We have hijacked normal podcast listening, we have hijacked normal social media posting, and we are just focusing on giving you 30 days of value, 30 days of content that you can come back to or dive in every single day so that you can learn how to reach more people, make an even bigger impact, finally launch that online course or scale your online courses business by getting in front of more people more often on Facebook and Instagram ads. And I trust that this finds you well. I hope you are having a lovely Easter. You did not overindulge on uh, the Easter bunnies like I did. A few too many lint bunnies there for me. But that's okay. We are getting on the health bandwagon again tomorrow and it'll all be good. Okay, so today we're going to talk about everything you need to create before you set up your ads. Now, this is something I learned the hard way because I'm kind of a just dive in and do it kind of gal. But it pays to be organized when you are going to run Facebook ads. And so today I'm going to take you through one of the freebies that we have that you can download in this series. If you go to shineandsucceed.com forward slash ads in April and you look for day 14, you'll be able to find this free download checklist it'll be there for you. So let's go through that together. And what we're going to see is what do we need to create or think about before we even open the ads manager so that we can be effective at running ads. So let's jump into that freebie. All right. Now here you can see this is the list builders complete checklist for setting up Facebook and Instagram ads. And it is one of the free resources we give away on our website, but it'll also be in the 30 days of ads in April content if you signed up for that. So I'm just going to talk you through what's in here. And if you want to go and download that, you can go to shineandsucceed.com forward slash ads in April. The first thing you're going to need to think about is your landing pages. This is important if you're running conversion ads or list building ads or ads where you want people to give you their email addresses. You're going to need a landing page. You're going to need a thank you page. You're going to need copy for those two pieces and you are going to need images for those two pieces if you plan on putting images on there. So sit down and think about what the copy is you want on your landing page, which landing page software you're going to use. And then also you're going to need to connect those landing pages with your email CRM. Email CRM is just a service provider you use to collect email addresses. If you're just starting out, I suggest you use MailChimp. It's free and it's fabulous. And I used MailChimp myself when I started out. Uh, and then later on, you can upgrade to something like ActiveCampaign or ConvertKit, which is a little bit more robust. Uh, so you want to make sure that you have your landing page, your thank you page and your lead box that connects with your email CRM in place. The next thing is you're going to want to make sure that you have your pixels placed on all these pages. Yesterday we talked about pixels and about how it's just like my sausage dog that has glitter all over it. If you missed that, go back to day 13 and you will find out what having OD with glitter on is all about. Uh, but you're going to have to place your pixel on your landing page and on your thank you page and use the Facebook pixel helper to double check that you have it on there. Then you're going to set up your custom conversion. You're going to, I'm not going to go deep into creating your custom conversion here because I have a free training in this series called the uh, five day video training to get your first Facebook ad up without wasting your time or your money. And you can get that at shineandsucceed.com forward slash get my ad up. And so custom conversions is what we're going to use to measure whether people actually took the action we wanted them to take. So that's why it's a very important piece of this puzzle. And you're going to need the URL of your thank you page in order to set that up. That's why I tell you to set up the landing pages first. Then you're going to determine your audiences. You're going to want to think about your warm audiences or so your website viewers, 
your Facebook ads and your Facebook page engagers, your Instagram engagers, uh, or your email list, current email list. And you're also going to want to think about your cold audiences. So who are you going to be targeting with this ad? What are their interests? What are they, which pages do they follow? Which personalities do they follow? Uh, And you're going to, what, you know, how old are they? Where do they live? You're going to make a whole list of things to um, uncover where you're going to find your audiences. So that's something you need to do beforehand. Then you're going to write some copy for your ad. Now you can go with long copy and short copy, or you can just go with short copy. Either way, your audience is going to decide which one works best, not you. So try both when you're just starting out and then see what your audience responds to. Then Images, you're going to need to create some images. Now, I recommend you do not over edit these images. Remember, the news feed is a place for friends and family. It's where we hang out to see faces. So put some faces on there. Um, make it remember the 20% text rule so that Facebook uh, won't penalize you because you have more than 20% text on your image. Uh, and just make it something that will stop the scroll if you were your ideal customer. Maybe you want to consider using some video. Perhaps you want to create a quick 30 second video that tells people what the benefits are of downloading the thing that you've got. Uh, So you might want to create that video. And that, my friends, is everything you need to create to get your ads going. So again, you can go to shineandsuccee.com forward slash ads in April if you want to get this entire checklist, the one that we just talked through. Uh, And in there, you will read a little bit more about every single piece we covered and how you can make the best of every single piece so that you can get your ads up faster when you have created all of these amazing pieces of material that you're going to need. It's almost like the ingredients before getting all the ingredients together before you bake a cake. So go and get all your ingredients together uh, and sign up at www.shineandsuccee.com forward slash ads in April to get all 30 days of content as a kind of a little mini course, which is going to help you uh, get your ads up faster, reach more people and make a bigger impact in the world. Thank you very much for watching. Please let me know in the comments what else you want to learn about and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.